Hello everyone, this is Sunset Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends uh, Spider-Man Retro Series, Spider-Man 2099. Uh, I got mine from uh, GameStop. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's go over the packaging. So yeah, you get that retro card, you get the Spider-Man Animated Series logo here with Spider-Man hanging there. And then here you get a billboard picture of Spider-Man 2099 there, even though he wasn't in the series. So that's pretty cool. And you get that cool retro background there. And you get the Marvel Comics logo here in the corner. There's nothing on the sides or bottom or anything like that. Here is the back. And you get that same Spider-Man logo there. Same billboard picture. And you get that little picture of the figure itself. And it's just showing that you can switch off hands. You have a little description here. And then here is the DCPI there in the corner. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Spider-Man 2099 on the package here. So let's go over the accessories first. So first, you get that web, um, like, uh, cape thing that he has in the comics, which is, this is just clear plastic here. Uh, you get some tears in there. It's really nice texture, sculpt. You get a peg there to plug into his back. So I really like the look of this cape. It's kind of the same, except the uh, last one we got was, had a little bit more white in it, but... Whereas this one's more clear. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And then let's go over the hands. So we get two fisted hands here. You get the arrows pointing on the hand there. Uh, it looks like I got a little scuffing in there. Uh, and then you get that matte navy blue there. And then you get this red here. And it also continues through the joint here, which is nice. So it doesn't look weird when you're uh have a blue in the arrow piece there so yeah you get two of those i wonder if mine's this other one's messy no nope, it's not that bad and then you get wall crawling hands which i'm happy about really so yeah you get some uh matte blue there like i said so yeah this is really cool i wish they kept the fingers uh just like these where they're more pointy so and these are brand new uh brand new hand sculpts i believe i haven't seen these so Pretty sure they're brand new. So let's go over the figure itself here. So here is the head sculpt. So this is the same body mold that we got with the last one. I do have the uh, one that we had before, which is the Hobgoblin build a figure Spider-Man 2099. I have that on me, so we could, we'll do a comparison on that. Um, so yeah, it's basically just a repaint and a little bit of uh, decal changes here. So uh, this one, uh, the blue is just more, I guess, matted look. Um, I have a light shining on it, so that's why it kind of looks very shiny. Uh, the other one kind of just looks like plasticky, whereas this one's just like metallic looking. I like this a lot. Um, and then you get the shiny red there, which is not a big deal. And you get the fins, or yeah, the fins here for his forearms, which are really cool. I think their uh, their lines were a little bit skinnier on the last one too. And then, like I said, you get the sharp nails with the arrow pointing down on it. And this is what I was talking about for the joints. You can't really... They do a good job in blending them. You still get peg holes, so that's also why, you know, this is an older body mold. You also get the same thing on the knees. I wish they uh, made a new one just to make it more updated and make people more want to get more, I guess. Um, so yeah, there's not a whole lot going on in the back. You get a peg hole for the wing there, so. And then, yeah. And then you get that Spider logo there, which is brand new, by the way. So, this is not the same logo from the last one. Um, like I said, I'll do a comparison so you'll know. But yeah, that's really all we got for the looks. So let's go over the articulation. So his head, he has a disc ball joint, so you can look down that far. You look up that far. You look left and right. Uh, a little head pivoting. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation there. He has butterfly joints. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows that go that far. Wrists can hinge down that far. Up that far. 360 rotation there. These wrists move so far. And he has an ab crunch that doesn't really move a whole lot backwards. That much. He has a waist swivel. 360 rotation there. Legs kick, kick out just that far. Forward quite a bit. Uh, backwards a little bit. 
Die cut, double jointed knees there, almost a butt kick. And then ankles can hinge down that far, up that far. Nice ankle pivot. And here is the old Spider Man 2099 for the Hobgoblin build a figure next to the new one, the retro version. So, yeah, you can tell the difference by the paint too. Uh, that this one's a little bit more of a plasticky look. You get a little bit of marbling in there just to give it some, I guess, look. I don't know. There's a quite a bit, a lot, quite a bit of marbling in there. Um, and then I think the ab crunch for this one's a little bit. Yeah, it's way better. So it's a lot more smooth, and it is. He gets farther, I think, and backwards quite a bit more. So. And then your hands are different too. He's only came with these hands, so we get some new hands for the 2099 figure. So that's nice, I would say. Um, oh yeah, and for the comparison for the spider logos. So this one looks a little bit smaller, which I like a lot more actually. You get the four legs there, whereas this one's a little bit bigger, as you can tell. So yeah, there's the difference there. You get, to, you get to see the legs a little bit better on this one, whereas this one's just kind of like, yeah, use the butterfly joints to kind of see see the spider legs there. And then you get the fins there. So, yeah, they're the same exact thing. Uh, the paint, you can kind of tell the difference between them, though, whereas this one's, like, kind of blended. So that kind of is looks a little messy, I guess, but that's because of the, the paint being a little bit more reflective there. And then... Head sculpts are the same exact thing, so uh, yeah, that's really all I got. That's for the comparison. Um, I would say this one's a lot better just because I really like the metallic look on it. Like when you don't have light shining on it, it looks matted, but when you have it shining, uh, it just looks like it's actually meant to look like that, like uh, reflected, and you can tell that it's supposed. To, I don't know. You could look it like. I, you can see the sculpts and stuff pretty clearly, so yeah, and I like the spider look there. Um, I really like the accessories that we got there for the hands, so and then here we'll put the web cape on there if I can do that. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. It's you can't really see it too much when you have it on them when you're looking at in front. Maybe if you have them have it like swinging out there to this head a little bit, it'll be more seen i wish they did like a soft goods thing like we did with the uh the older spiderman 2099 figure uh, i have that one but i don't have the cape for it so i wish i would have kept the cape somewhere and i uh, attached it to this but i really like this figure a lot more than this one i would say the only thing that you would be missing out is the hobgoblin uh builder figure leg i believe that's what it was so I mean, yeah, I, I, I really like this figure. I prefer this one, actually. I just wish they did something new with the body sculpt. I really like the head sculpt. Uh, I just wish they did something new for the body sculpt, just so it's kind of like new. We got the same mold. So it's just a repaint, basically. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for this figure. I recommend you get him, like I said. But if you guys uh, want to check out my Twitch Instagram, uh, and, uh, TikTok, go ahead and check out my link tree. All that stuff is in there. But besides that, thanks for watching.